access or lack of access to data. How has that impacted your decision making during this 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 time? Uh, it's been huge, right? And I kind of equate this very similar to the the e sign process. Um, you know, I feel like Chicken Little. <laughs> you know, there's going to come a day when you got to have access to data. There's going to come a day, right? Data is yeah. going to be everything. Yeah. And sure enough, we wake up one day, and what we've realized um, is that we're suddenly asking questions and needing reporting on items that we've never even asked before. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I sat in meeting after meeting with the executive team, and they're like, "Okay, well, what about this? And what about this? And what about this?" And these are questions we've never actually asked ourselves before and never needed reports on before. And so mm -hmm. if you're unprepared, if your data, call your data hub, or your data warehouse, or your however you manage data is not prepared to manage and report on the things you've never even asked before, you're left in the dark because you can't, simply cannot start creating data elements out of, uh, out of thin air. Right? I mean, you need historical yeah. data, you need historical trending, you need data modeling over things that you've never actually looked at before. Um, and so it's been a, another one of those moments where I just kind of say, I hate to say I told you so, right? <laughs> um, but it's really kind of forced us to change our, our line of thinking about how do we start answering questions we don't even know we need the answers to. And your data has to be good enough to be able to do that. Yeah. Right? If not, if not, you're left in the dark because you can't report on things because you've never actually collected that data before. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Jen, what, what do you what do you think on on the data side uh, for you guys? I know you guys have been doing a lot of you know we became a bank in the past what year and a half or so. Um, not so, even twelve months ago. Not even twelve months. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> not even twelve so, months. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's there's almost twelve. You're basically. There's like a, a a hierarchy of priorities that's like constant, right? There's just always very urgent, important things going on with you guys. So, how would you say are you guys have used data or um, a lack thereof, or kind of what has this kind of enlightened you to as far as the data needs for for your enterprise? Yeah, I mean, I think Don's spot on. You know, some of this stuff is just we, you know, we've got this data that we've never really had a need for before, and thank goodness we had it, but in terms of quickly accessing it, um, synthesizing that, making something that's useful out of it. So what is it telling us? And really on the bank yeah. side too, because we have the historical data, but you know, with having to um, have, as a bank, we not only have the forbearance and the triple P, but we also have some consumer deferral mm -hmm. you know, programs that are coming out too. So it's being able to, have all those uh, disparate data sources consolidated and then be able to spit out something that helps um, executive teams make, make informed decisions. Um, but it's been never more critical. Yeah, 